I want to just talk about a couple of things and then open it up for questions. Uh, you know, with the, this being the last day of uh, training camp and starting out the, the regular season uh, tomorrow, uh, just really uh, was impressed by the job that Coach Fisdale and his staff uh, had done during these, these past few weeks. It really brought a lot of leadership um, uh, to the court, a lot of teaching, uh, a lot of development we saw going on. And so we expect that to continue throughout the course of the year. And I want to commend the players for really playing hard and competing. I think uh, the effort and the competitions for, for jobs each and every day was very apparent uh, in how we went about our work and our business during training camp and, the, and during the preseason games. Uh, <clears throat> I, I know a question that uh, a lot of you will have, you know, uh, yesterday the um, extension uh, Time like the date for uh, Chris Sops came and went. Uh, a couple of things I want to talk about with that. Uh, first and foremost, Chris Sops Porzingis is uh, a special and unique talent. Um, he is someone that is extremely important to this franchise. Uh, he is someone that, as we strategically continue to build this team, he's very much a part of. And uh, the goal is to c continue to work very closely with him and his representation on making him be a part of the New York Knicks for the long term. I think this is a byproduct of it, the fact that financial flexibility is created because of that. Um, in terms of just the actual dialogue that we were having with them, I'm gonna keep the minutia of that um, you know, private, like I've always said from the very beginning. I think that's important to the integrity of any negotiation that you keep that, uh, keep that private, but uh, that is a byproduct of it. And another thing I can add and, and say is that um, they want to win, you know, Chris Stops and his representation, as do we. And uh, I think uh, uh, we both want to uh, see a, a Knicks roster that's going to be highly competitive for, for the long term. I, I think our, our conversations and, and, and are in a good place. And, uh, and, and again, he, he's extremely important to us, you know, going forward. I think we're, we're both at, at, at a comfortable uh, space right now. And uh, we'll just keep working throughout the course of the season. You think Chris Stops is comfortable with where he is right now with this contract? Uh, <clears throat> well, that's a question you have to ask him. But I think that Chris Stops, in his, they are very, uh, he's rehabbing uh, 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 very well. We're you know, pleased to see the progress that he's uh, making with that. And uh, again, I, I think one of his goals, uh, in which where we are lined up, is that this team be in a position to be very competitive moving forward. What, what, as you start the season, um, what is your short-term and long-term plan uh, for this year? Well, again, this is an important season. Again, we, we know we're young. We know this is a, 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 we're going to see a lot of young players out on the floor growing, developing, uh, competing. Uh, you, you, I know you've, talked, uh, you've been talking to, to David a lot, and as you've heard from Steve and I for some time, we want a very uh, competitive a team, a team that's going to defend, going to play at a faster pace than what we've uh, <clears throat> done last year, from, from last year. And uh, so we're encouraged about the early signs. And again, I just want to see us continue to develop and get better um, as we move forward through what we all know is a very long and arduous uh, NBA season. You picked up Frank's uh, option. Do you know about his development? Are you been pleased with the way he's grown? Very pleased. I think it started, you know, this summer when Frank, you know, made the decision that he was going to stay here in the States. Uh, I think all of you have noticed that he's, you know, 10 pounds stronger. He's a lot more confident uh, in, in his play. And, and then, you, you know, I've been seeing that for a number of years. I'm going on 20 years in the league now. And with young players uh, from year one to year two, just the confidence of having been through an NBA training camp before, having been through an entire season. I think he's bringing some of that confidence and I'm looking forward to watching him grow and develop and, and, and demonstrate some of that confidence this season. In terms of Joe King, uh, that decision was made uh, for the best interest of the Knicks, first and foremost. Uh, secondly, you know, I spent a lot of time, a lot of months, uh, you know, trying to find, you know, a deal that, that made sense um, and learned a lot about the, the market out there that uh, the market was expensive. They were, they were um, and what we've said all along is that we were not going to trade first round picks and young 
uh, players uh, in, in, in any type of transaction like that. So again, we're comfortable with, with the decision we made. We're gonna move forward with Rich Joe King, the very best.